This lesson is about literal values of the care data type. A care is a 16-bit unsigned value, and you can initialize it the same way you can initialize any integer. You can use a base 10 number like one of these, but you can't use a minus sign. A care data type can only hold positive values. You can do it with hexadecimal literals like these, and you can do it with octal. And in addition, you can use character constants by enclosing a character inside single quotes. It's important that you know the difference between single and double quotes. These are character constants with a single quote. If you were to use double quotes, it would cause the creation of a string object. That's an entirely different thing. And don't confuse the null character, which is zero, with the space character, which is actually the hexadecimal value of two zero. Now the care data type will hold many more characters than just those defined in the ASCII character set, and you can specify any character as a Unicode constant like this. The backslash is the escape character, and escape U indicates that the next four characters are hexadecimal digits. These are hexadecimal numbers representing Unicode values. The Unicode character set includes every letter of every alphabet in the world. And there's plenty of room left over for expansion. They've even got the entire Klingon alphabet defined in there. You will come across the term UTF or UTF-8. This refers to an encoding scheme that can be used to read and write Unicode characters. You see, ASCII takes up the values from 0 to 127, so it's only 7 bits long. It's stored in a byte, so there is always one bit left over. In UTF coding, this first bit is used as a flag to indicate that the following character is a Unicode character and much longer. Otherwise, the contents of the byte is assumed to be ASCII. This works perfectly and allows Java to input and output ASCII data streams as if they were UTF streams. By doing it this way, a Java program can be converted to use another character set without even knowing it. The important thing to remember about the care data type inside a program is that Java will always interpret whatever number you put in there as a character. Here, let me show you. This program demonstrates different ways to initialize a care variable. All it does is use literal constants of five different forms to initialize the same variable. Then it displays the result as a character. Here's the result of the output from this program. All of these different forms of initialization resulted in the same value being stored in the same variable. And because it's a care variable, it was always interpreted as a character. Now, just because Unicode defines this huge array of characters doesn't mean that your system can display them. If you try to display a value that's not inside the character set defined by your current font, the result can vary, but you usually get just a question mark.